US President Joe Biden is unlikely to visit India on 26 January to grace the Indian Republic Day celebrations as chief guest. The Australian and Japanese Prime Minister had indicated that they could fly in for the Quad Summit in New Delhi on 27 January, but due to Joe Biden's unavailability, the Quad Summit will now be held in later half of 2024. Latest satellite imagery shows that China has continued with its illegal construction activity in North Bhutan's Jakarlang Valley, an area which lies 50 kilometers from Bhutan's eastern border with India's Arunachal. India has announced that it will set up a non-lapsable fund to invest more in the country's defense modernization, under which unspent money will be carried forward to the next fiscal year for defense purchases. Over 150 Chinese fishing vessels have ventured close to the coast of Mumbai and Gujarat in the Arabian Sea, just outside India's exclusive economic zone, that can also act as spy vessels. The Indian Air Force has proposed a significant name change to Indian Air and Space Force, and acquire a constellation of 250 military-grade satellites. Representatives from Philippines visited Kalyani Strategic Systems to inspect the ATAGS and MAG truck-mounted howitzer. The Indian Army has mounted two anti-drone guns on the upgraded Shilka self-propelled anti-aircraft system, that will provide a comprehensive defense against drones. France has offered to share its pump jet propulsion technology to India for its 6,000-ton nuclear attack submarine program, but this French offer hinges on our commitment to build more than six submarines, due to which Navy is considering to adopt the pump jet technology for six nuclear attack submarines and 12 indigenous conventional submarines on the Project 76, thus maximizing its return on investment. The pump jet technology could also be incorporated into the 13,000-ton S5 class SSPN. The Indian Air Force has released a request for information to procure 200 vehicle-mounted counter-unmanned aircraft systems, and 10 units of vehicle-mounted kamikaze drone-based anti-swarm drone systems for the Indian Air Force, and the delivery of both these systems must be completed within 18 months. The Defence Ministry has approved the second order for over 70,000 units of the SIG 716 rifles for the Indian Army at a cost of 800 crore rupees, which will be given to troops deployed in CT operations. Indian forces have recently acquired the Russian AK-103 in significant numbers for CT operations, and will soon get the locally produced AK-203 by Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited. Hindustan Aeronautics has said, that it is engaged in negotiations with four nations for export orders, and the total estimated value of these potential transactions is close to 70,000 crore rupees. Hal has said, that Argentina is considering to order 15 Tejas Mark 1A on 10 roof helicopters, Nigeria is exploring a purchase of 18 Tejas Mark 1A, Egypt is contemplating to acquire 20 Tejas Mark 1A, and Philippines is in advanced negotiations to buy 20 Droof Mark III maritime helicopters. Today's Top 3 Comments